Welcome to video from the video we're going to look at something a little bit different, this is a little bit old, 1989 Yamaha EMT10 um, sound expander. The idea behind this is um, it wasn't made from the same division it made like the FM and the DX instruments like this TX7, it was made by the piano home keyboard division, uh, mainly the piano, so it was designed to go with a piano or a home organ, but it's sampled sounds. At the time when uh, I got this in the, uh, 1989 for about 250 quid, yeah, a lot of uh, the synth I think was probably a DX100 at the time, maybe even DX11. They you couldn't get real piano sounds; they were those FM type sounds. So this fitted in quite nicely in with uh, the rest of my stuff. So in this video, I'm going to give you some sound demos and tell you a little bit about the device. Just first look at the front. So here you've got volume control, you've got the sounds, we've got two, two pianos, two electric pianos, harpsichord, guitar, string, brass, choir, and basses, and I'll play those shortly. And you've got some performance controls, which are envelope speeds, but only slightly slower the attack, slower the decay, and brightness sounds. One of the reasons it has this line in, line out, and power in, power out is so that you can set this, because it's eight voice polyphony, you could actually set it to do every other note and then you could have another one of these that would do every other note, other note and that would give you 16 voice polyphony so you could chain them together using this MIDI through and then um, connecting them together this way. So I've got it routed through uh, to uh, one of my synths and I'm going to give us a demonstration of the sounds. Well first of all let's play a bit of the piano sound with the reverb on and I'll take it out as dry. So, eight note polyphony, so you're not going to get massive polyphony on it, but actually, it actually sounds quite nice. But let me uh, take the reverb down on that now uh, so that we can hear it clean. So, without the reverb. Brighten it up. It's a bit mellow. And we can alter the speed, so it's a bit of a weird um, slow attack or a fast attack. You get the slow attack of mellow, maybe you can get a bit of it. So that's piano one. So moving on to piano two. Piano one, piano two. So can you tell a huge amount of difference? Maybe a bit mellower, but slight difference. And we've got an electric piano which is your DX7 type FM piano. And again you can change the parameters on that. And then the second one is slightly more mellow, but still that like FM sample. And then we've got some the ones I less use frequently, the harpsichord. A guitar. Probably better if I had a keyboard with pitch bam on the the no electro, it's not a pitch bend on it. We've got strings. You can 
hear the, the low polyphony count kick in there. I suppose you could mellow those out and slow down. And if you drop the sustain, actually it does sound they almost remind me a bit of Mellotronish sort of strings. Mm -hmm. I never found that useful. And the choir, which I did quite like, actually. And now we've got an upright bass. bass and a slap bass so I think I'm going to drop it down an octave on the controller for that and then what you could do you could hold down say the slap bass and the uh, piano so I've got piano uh, the bass in my left on the right. Oh, I'll say electric and the choir. Pull upright and electric. For me. And the other option you've got, you've got a pitch so you can modify that down. And that's really it, there's not a lot to it. Except there's a MIDI control that you, you can change the channel that the MIDI responds to. And if you remember that, you can split the bass and the piano to these sections of the bass onto two MIDI channels. I got it at the time for the piano, which still sounds good, but low penalty accounts a bit of an issue. I like the choir. Um, that's about it really. It's kind of a retro now, so it's quite fun, but um, it's, it's an interesting device. The, like I said, 250 quid at the time, I think I probably picked up, say, 100 quid. I don't know where it goes now, maybe it's 50, 100 quid on, on eBay. Not a lot of money, but there you go. Nice little blast from the past. This is Yamaha Sound Expander EMT 10.